This is Christian Lamello. In this video, we're going to show you how to clamp waterfall countertop edges or thick mitered material. Uh, we've shown you in other videos how you can clamp together three quarter material. It's very easy. It's a one step process in the Zeta. Here, we don't want to make one line of connectors across the middle because it'll create a, a hinge point in such thick material. We're going to create a W pattern, which will spread the clamping force across the thickness of the material. I'm going to do a high-low pattern. I'm going to do a couple of connectors high here on that edge and then one down here in the middle. If you had a, a deeper, I just pulled this scrap out of stock and made up a couple of miters. If you had a deeper countertop, I would, my, I would alternate connectors maybe every eight or ten inches or so, do high, low, high, low, high, and have a web pattern of five across the, the width of it. So we're going to work off of the short point in the middle for our low connector, and we're going to work off the long point for our high joints. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to put the stop square on the front of our Zeta, which I showed you before. And as I mentioned, there's a 45 degree detent right in the edge of the base plate of the stop square. And I've dialed the connection, the height down to around <clears throat> 18 or 19 millimeters. It's sort of an arbitrary mark because this will keep me from blowing out through the long point once I, once I make my slot. So we're gonna use the Clam XP14. I have my machine set at 14 and we're ready to go. I'm gonna line up with the, uh, the edge of my surface for my outside of my high cuts. <laughs> As you can see here, I just used a couple of parallel jaw clamps to uh, fixture my long point. Of course, you, you could always work off the edge of your bench like so. It's, I find it a little bit more awkward. I just like to work. Let gravity help me out. So. I'm gonna make the other mating pair here. <laughs> So now we're going to make the short point connection. Now normally on any uh, three-quarter material, when we're making a, a miter edge off the short point, we're always going to use that four millimeter black, uh, red spacer plate that comes with the Zeta. Here, because the material is so thick, we don't need it. I happen to know this is a 45 degree angle, but as I've mentioned before in other videos, if this was something funky, like 28 degrees, you can put your flip stop on your piece and then dial the Zeta down until it index, the face of the Zeta indexes on the surface and you'll know right where you are. So here, I'm just going to make a couple of marks on my pieces so that I know where I'm going to go. Essentially right on the, uh, right on the book match on this veneer. If you had a lot of these to do, you could certainly make yourself up a story stick so that you don't have to make pencil marks or do any measuring. So now I've got my, <clears throat> now I have my short point. Just gonna line the center point of my Zeta. slots. So now we'll make the holes for the Clamex connector. I'm going to use the drill jig that comes with the Zeta. We're going to see if this one, yeah, that's not quite going to reach, so we're going to use a long drill jig in a moment for the one, the high connectors. So here in this situation, we just snap fit the drill jig into place, dial this down until it just hits the surface. Take care of that hole. Then we do have uh, a long drill jig accessory. So for situations like this where we've got a really long reach to get down to a deep slot, we can use this. So it's got a metal fixture on it, holding it in place. Make sure I'm lined up properly. Remove all 
the extra sawdust in there so it doesn't interfere with the cams on the Climax connectors. I'm gonna put all these in with the cam lock side up. I'm gonna take the long drill jig accessory, run it down here, just make sure I have my cam lock alignment good before I go to commit to putting everything together. I might have a little bit of sawdust in this one, so this is why we, yep, this is why we check that. So if you see, I didn't quite get all the sawdust out of here and it got jammed down into the cam lock. So I'm just gonna set this aside, get another, uh, another connector. There we go, now we got it. So now we'll put the female halves of the connectors in. So, of course, if you were going to glue this connection, you could have used Tenso as well. I think in this situation, as long as you don't mind these six millimeter holes in the bottom, the Climax connection is going to make a very strong joint. So, I'm just going to put these, put the whole assembly together. Like so, I'm actually perfectly flush right here. Lock all the cams together. Now let's clamp 200 pounds of clamping force and a very nice waterfall edge. Hopefully that shows up well enough on, on camera. So, thank you for watching. Like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.